Hi students, in this video we are going to study about astronomical telescope. What is an astronomical telescope? It is an optical device used to view heavenly objects like stars, planets, etc. clearly. Now like a compound microscope, an astronomical telescope consists of two convex lenses. Two convex lenses which is mounted coaxially, which means along the same axis at the ends of two sliding tubes. And these convex lenses are known by the names. First one is the objective. Now, from the name itself, it is clear the lens which focuses the object is known as the objective, and it is a convex lens of large focal length. and aperture and second one is the eyepiece it is also a convex lens of comparatively small focal length of small focal length and aperture. Just the opposite of a compound microscope in which convex lens was small having small focal length and the eyepiece was having a large focal comparatively large focal length. The telescope object is having large focal length and large aperture whereas the eyepiece is having small focal length and small aperture. Okay. Now we are going to study the case in which the final image is obtained at least distance of distinguishing when the final image is obtained at least distance of distinguishing. So that we, what must we require? We require two convex lenses, one with a larger aperture and second one with a comparatively small aperture. Okay. And this is the principal axis. We take the op optical center of the objective as O and the eyepiece as E. Now what happens rays from the distant object get incident on the objective at an angle alpha and it forms a diminished inverted image a dash B dash at the focus of the objective. Now the eyepiece is adjusted in such a way that this image lies between the optic center and the focus of the eyepiece. And the rays from the object that is the image which acts as a virtual object for the eyepiece 
passes through the lens passes through the lens and since it is between the optic center and focus of the eyepiece it won't merge or uh, meet at a point so we extend it backward and we get a final inverted image well in magnified image a double dash b double dash it is at a distance d from the optic center of the eyepiece now this distance that is the image distance of the objective is taken as f0 and the image object distance of the eyepiece is taken as u e i'll explain the diagram once more to you we have the objective of larger aperture and the eyepiece of comparatively small aperture and focal length now rays from the distant object passes through the objective and it meets the objective at an angle alpha and forms a final image a dash b dash which is at the focus of the objective now the eyepiece is at distance such a way that this image which acts as a virtual or imaginary object for the eyepiece lies between the focus and optic center of the eyepiece what happens the rays from this image a dash b dash passes through the eyepiece and since it is between the optic center and uh, sorry optic center and the focus it won't meet at a point so we extend it backward and we get a well magnified image a double dash b double dash in front of the eyepiece now this distance that is the image distance of the objective is taken as f0 since the image is formed at the focus and the object distance of the eyepiece is taken as u e and the image distance of the eyepiece is taken as v e which is represented by the letter b now what is our aim our aim is to find out the angular magnification and what is the definition for angular magnification it is the ratio of angle subtended at the eye by the image what is the image now which is at infinity isn't it image at infinity to the angle subtended sorry image at the near point image at the least distance to the angle subtended by the object where is the object it is in space so object at infinity so angular magnification m it is defined as the ratio of angle subtended at the eye by the image at the least distance to the angle subtended by the object at the eye at the at infinity and is denoted by the letter m is equal to tan beta by tan alpha so next step is what our next step is find out what is tan beta and what is tan alpha for that from the figure using the triangle we are going to find out what is tan beta so we are going to use the triangle a dash b dash e this triangle so from the triangle a dash b dash e we get tan beta is equal to opposite side that is a dash b dash by a dash e so a dash b dash divided by a dash e and also from the triangle a dash b dash o this triangle 
a dash b dash o so this angle is alpha so this angle is also alpha we get tan alpha is equal to opposite side by adjacent side that is a dash b dash divided by a dash o therefore magnification m magnification m is equal to tan beta by tan alpha is equal to a dash b dash divided by b dash e divided sorry a dash e divided by a dash b dash divided by a dash o this two will get cancel we will get a dash o divided by a dash e Now, what is a dash O? What is a dash E? Look into this figure. A dash O means this distance. What is this? It is the object distance that we have taken it as f zero. So a dash O is f zero, and a dash E this is distance. That is the image distance of the eyepiece, and it is taken from the optic center towards the left. So a dash E, according to sign convention, is minus U E. So we get M is equal to M is equal to a dash O, which is f zero divided by a dash E. It is minus U. So the equation becomes minus f zero divided by U E. Now this is the equation for magnification of a telescope when the image is obtained at least distance of distribution. Where is actually U E? U E is lie, lying between the two lenses, and the lens is placed at the ends of the sliding tube, which means it is difficult to find out the value of U E. So what we do is we are going to convert U E in terms of terms, which we can easily find out. For that, we use the lens formula. And what is lens formula? Lens formula is so using lens formula. What is lens formula? One by v minus one by u is equal to one by f. Now our aim is to find out what is one by u e, isn't it? Which means object distance of the eyepiece. So every term in this equation must be converted into terms of eyepiece. And in, for an eyepiece, the image distance v is what? It is the least distance of distribution, and it is towards the left side, isn't it? So the v is equal to Minus the according to sign convention, object distance is we have taken it as U E, that is minus U E according to sign convention. F is the focal length of eyepiece, so you can write as F E. So this becomes on substituting we get minus one by D minus one mi minus one by minus U, that is one by U E plus one by U E is equal to one by F. Or one by u is equal to what? One by f v e plus one by d. Now what I am going to do is I am going to take this one by f v e outside. So we get one by f v e into one plus f v e by d. So we got one by u e as one by f v e into one plus f v e by d. Therefore, the final equation for magnification is m is equal to minus f zero by u e is equal to minus f zero by f v e into one plus f v e by d. Now, this is the equation for magnification. Produced by an astronomical telescope when the final image is obtained at least distance of distribution, and in this equation there is a negative sign, and this negative sign indicates that the 
final image is magnified and inverted. It is that the final image is real, magnified and inverted. This is the important point, the final image is real and it is inverted image. I hope this derivation is clear to you, thank you.